Hello, I'm an analog dog. I am a digital dog. A robot dog. I am run by electronics. I'm run by gears and springs. I use a wind-up key to make me go. I use batteries to make me go. This is an analog clock. It uses hands to tell time. It has the numbers 1 through 12. Each number represents an hour of the day. It is also run by gears and springs, like me. This is a digital clock. It is run by digital chips and electricity to make it go. On the digital clock, it has a series of dashes, which can be used in different combinations to make all of the numbers of the time. Funky Club. We have a Funky Club kid who loves digital clocks. Has no problem, but when it comes to analog clocks, sometimes struggles. And maybe you have the opposite problem. Analog clocks have been around for a long time, and digital clocks, not quite so long. We're going to talk a little bit about how to tell time. This hand with the little pink dots is the hour hand. Whatever number it points to is the hour of the day. The minute hand is how many minutes past the hour or before the next hour. The hour hand will go around the clock twice in one day because there are 24 hours in a day. This shows 2 o'clock. Our little digital puppy from Paw Patrol is going to show you what 2 o'clock looks like on our digital clock. That's correct puppy. Good job. 2 o'clock. But when the minute hand goes around, each of these numbers represents 5 minutes. So it's 5, 10, 15 minutes after. Good job Robo Dog. That's 2.15. On this clock we could say 2.15 or we could say 15 minutes past 2 o'clock. For every hour, this hand, the minute hand will go around all the way before it becomes 3 o'clock. Now it's 3 o'clock. RoboPup, show us 3 o'clock. Wonderful! 3 o'clock. Let's try. 3.30. It is 3.30 and 3.30 on the digital clock. Let's change the time. What time is that? You're right, it's 4 o'clock. How about 5 o'clock? 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Now what happens when we get up here to double digits? 10 o'clock. There's another space here on the digital clock. That's 10 o'clock. That is how you correlate between the analog clock and the digital clock. One is run by electronics, one by springs and gears, but both tell the time. And do you know what time it is, Fun Kid Club? It is time to open up these cool surprise eggs with RoboPup from Paw Patrol and our cute little wind-up tin toy puppy. RoboPup, are you ready? Arf! Arf! We are going to make time disappear. Jelly Belly Star Wars. But robots all run on electronics. We love Bot from Team Umizoomi. There's another robot, our favorite one, R2D2 from Star Wars. We have a Robo Pup, a robot from Star Wars, and Bot from Team Umizoomi. <gasps> Darth Vader. He's part electronics and part human. We love all the fun sci-fi toys we have. They're so cool. Look at this one. That is a solar ant. If you put it out in the sunlight, it starts jiggling. It's got very tiny electronic parts. And we have Flex from Yo Gabba Gabba. Robot, 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 robot. Part robot. Oh, robo ant. Little analog pup. Should we open up your egg? Oh, 
I bet that just won't fit in the little egg. Star Wars! It's the TIE Fighter from The Force Awakens. Cool! Here's another puppy from Paw Patrol. Like Robopup. It's Marshall. Cars are mostly mechanical, but they also have some digital computers in them now, which makes them pretty cool. A Slinky. We told you that this little wind-up dog runs by springs and gears. This is a spring. Oh, here's another little tin toy. More Paw Patrol! Rocky the Eco Pop! Oh, you do good. Are you going to clean up my mess I'm making over here? Oh, you're going to help me? Awesome! It's Chase. Zuma. Zuma was the first Paw Patrol egg we ever made. It was huge. There's a clock. Cogsworth. Cogsworth was from Beauty and the Beast, and he's an analog clock, right? Think about Cogsworth. He's run by Cogs and Springs. And Gears. So his name is Cogsworth. Funny. Sky. Oh, she's so pretty. And she is a good helicopter pilot. Sky. And one more puppy. It's Snoopy. So many toys. Fun Kid Club, we love making Play-Doh surprise eggs for you. And we hope that you had fun learning a little bit about the difference between an analog clock and a digital clock and how they each tell time. I'm so thankful that I have clocks to keep me going on time. And I hope that you enjoyed this plate of surprise egg. Now, what egg should we open next? <laughs>